Hi, I'm Ben Reed. I'm uh, with the OpenNMS Group. Uh, I am a CIO, although I actually spend most of my time doing development and release process stuff. And I'm Jeff Delbuck. I also work with the OpenNMS Group, and I don't have any alphabet soup. I'm just a <laughs> consultant or toilet scrubber or something like that. Oh, I'm that too. Yeah. Well, we yes. need to do something about that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> need to get me some alphabet soup. So uh, we thought we'd just chat a little bit about OpenNMS and what our relationships are to it, our roles. So um, I feel I feel like I'm I'm in a ten year marriage with it now. I think at this point, well, more than ten. More than ten. Yeah, I'm, you've been. I'm, you're the, I'm coming up on thirteen years. I guess. I believe you're the longest serving committer. Yes. Who's still committing? Yeah, I uh, I started with. The first open, I was employee number five at the first company that made what is now the OpenNMS software, although at the time it was called Platformworks, I think, and uh, soon, shortly thereafter, became Oculan. And then Oculan went under, they, uh, I worked for another company for a while, then I worked for Raritan, who bought the IP of Oculan, and then I got laid off, and now I work for the OpenNMS group. So I'm, I've worked, worked with the same code three different times, sort of. It's crazy. It is. <laughs> so what's your day-to-day -day interaction with OpenNMS like? Um, I tend to jump around a lot. So I'll, I'll kind of keep up with the mailing lists and IRC and talk with people out there in the world. And then uh, I do the release process. So I'm usually, when, when the... Second Monday, the first Monday, or what is it? It's the first Monday of the first full week of the month comes around. I work on the uh, on the release, and basically we have a process that's pretty much just a wiki page that says, here's the 140 things you do to do the release, which is mostly uh, you prepare the source, you know, the, the Git repo, make a, make a branch that we do any documentation stuff in, you know, tell Jira to give us a list of release notes, all that fun stuff, and then go through the process of building everywhere. So we build RPMs, we build Debian packages, we build Solaris packages, uh, we build the, the generic installer jar, and then you know, kind of go put that up on SourceForge and on Yum and our app repo, and the magic happens. And then usually someone has already installed it by the time the official uh, announcement goes out because I usually don't do that until <laughs> everything is uploaded. Uh, right now, Matt and I have been working on our crazy trip down OSGI lane, converting OpenNMS to support OSGI. Um, work on all kinds of other little code things, whatever needs doing. So usually, usually we have more projects than <laughs> then we have time, so for it's serving. whatever whatever comes up. I'll jump onto. I've kind of played with every part of the code base at this point. Right. So what about you? Uh, it depends on the day, pretty heavily. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like Ben as well. Um, I I do once in a while. I get the privilege of actually writing some code or fixing a bug. That doesn't happen much anymore these days for me. <laughs> uh, but really, by volume, most of my time is spent doing client support. So I get to work on, I'm, I'm very familiar with the request tracker platform, yeah. for, uh, which is what we use for our trouble tickets uh, for our client support. Uh, sometimes I try to follow along with the bug tracker. I spend a fair amount of time in the IRC channel. I'm Jeff G. He's Ranger Oh, Ray. yeah, I'm Ranger, Ranger Ray. Ray. And <laughs> when I'm not either doing client support or whatever else I have time for. I spend a decent amount of time doing uh, consulting work, usually on client sites. So that takes me to some interesting places. And I get to see some interesting networks. Another of my functional areas when I'm functioning is to, uh, to do some of the training courses. Usually Taurus and I teach those half and half or so. So if you're coming out to training, then if you're really lucky or unlucky, depending on your perspective, you might get me for the second half of the course.